Good morning, first grade. Uh, today is Wednesday and it is sunglasses day, as you can see. We're gonna get started with our writing activity for the day. If you don't already have a piece of paper and a pencil, go ahead and grab one right now so that you have time to do it with us. You can pause the video if you need to. All right. It is Wednesday, April 22nd. It is also a special day for the planet. It is Earth Day. And we'll talk a little bit about that some more during science, but today we will learn about proper nouns and common nouns. So just a little bit of review. Let's do a little syllable practice review. How many syllables do I have? Now remember, does anyone remember how to figure out how many syllables are in a word? I'll give you a hint. Do you remember now? If you said, I put my hand underneath my chin and I count how many times my chin goes down, you're correct. That's how you find out how many syllables are in a word. For example, here is a mug. Say mug, mug. How many syllables are in mug? One, nice job. Porcupine, say it for me, porcupine. Don't tap it out, just say it normal. Porcupine. How many syllables did you hear? Show me with your fingers. Three, nice job. Dinosaur. Show me with your fingers how many syllables are in dinosaur. Three, nice job. Well, how many syllables are in well? One, your chin only goes down one time, nice job. Crab. How many syllables do you hear in crab? One, again, nice job. Last one, how many syllables do you hear in octopus? Octopus. Show me with your fingers. If you said three, you are correct, and we can move on from our syllable practice. But if you want a little extra practice, I want you to find five things in your kitchen, gather them all in one place, and point to them and say the words to them. For example, I might say mug, because I find a mug in my kitchen and I might count how many syllables. I might say paper towel, that's two words, and I might count all the syllables in paper towel. <coughs> oh, bless me. If you need a little extra practice or if you want to practice a little more, go grab five things in your kitchen to find out the syllables in each one. Pause the video while you do that. All right, we're gonna move on to our nouns. Last week we talked about nouns, and a noun is a person, place, or a thing. We talked about how this was a common noun. Common means it's a regular, ordinary, nothing special to it noun. So if I'm saying, so I might say a person is a noun, like I'd say that little girl over there is a noun. That little boy over there is a noun. The school is a noun. My house is a noun. My phone is a noun. But if I want to say it's a proper noun and I want to use the name of it, if I'm using proper nouns, I'm going to use the name. So instead of saying that little girl over there for the noun, I would say Sofia Nieto is a proper noun because I used her name. Instead of phone, I would say iPhone because I used the name of the phone or the brand. Instead of saying school for the noun, I would use the name and I would say Wonderful College Prep Academy because I'm using the name. So that makes it a proper noun. That makes it a proper noun. Right now, I want you to pause the video and I want you to think of three proper nouns. That could be stores you've been to, restaurants you've been to, people you know using their names, things like that. I want you to name five proper nouns. Pause the video and go ahead and do that. Nice job. We're going to keep going right now. We did a little warm up with proper nouns. I'm going to skip this slide. This is a little warm up from last week. Remember we said a teacher is a noun, but Mr. Perez using his name makes him proper, makes him the proper noun. Just like principal is a noun or saying Miss Hickson will make it the proper noun because we're using your name. A store is a noun because it's a place, but the name of the store, Walmart, makes it proper because you're using its name. Just like McDonald's, a restaurant is a noun, 
about McDonald's, it's his name. So is it common or is it a proper noun? Proper, nice job. All right, one of our activities today that you can choose from is to write about your favorite music. So here I have a little word bank for you with different types of music, uh, genres. Say it for me, genre, say it for me. Genre, how many syllables do you hear in the word? Genre, 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 two. It's a tricky word. It's this word right here. Read it to me. Genre. Genre just means the type of music, the kind of music, the type of the music. So I might start my sentence. My favorite genre of music is blank. That means my favorite kind of music is. But we want to try and practice using the word genre in our vocabulary. Let's read the different types and different genres of music. Are you ready? Read them with me. Point to the first word. What's the first sound you hear in the first word? Pop, pop, pop. The word is pop. The word is k -k country. The word is Latin. The word is rap. The word is R and B. The word is g -g gospel. The word is folk. The word is favorite. The word is Kind. The word is m -m -m music. The word is z -z -z genre. The word is b -b because. Okay. If you already know your favorite music is rap, beautiful. You can write about your favorite genre of music. Tell me why it's your favorite. Tell me where do you listen to it? When do you listen to it? Are you in the car driving somewhere? Are you at home playing and you're listening to music? Different things like that. Go ahead and pause the video so you can do your activity now. All right. Just to review, you have three options for your writing today. You have how many options? Three options. You can choose which of these words are proper nouns and write a story using the nouns. You can choose to use sight words to create a story in a drawing, or you can choose to write about your favorite music. Do not forget to submit a picture of your writing on Class Dojo under the Wednesday writing activity. And also, don't forget, since it's sunglasses day, to add your little sunglasses in your picture or your writing. All right. Good luck and happy writing.